Welcome back to YouTube, this is Craft Geek Gaming here! Okay, time for more strat. Sat. And this time I'm doing a Mega Pokemon. So this means. Oh, we're having. We're having more sets. Yay. Pros and guns. Sceptile, the form I gang. That's 120 base speed. That's fast. And you have a good physical move pool. Like, um, you, and you have Swords Dance to boost it. Like, um, Thunder Punch, Leave Blade, or Stab, and all sorts of stuff, you know. But your offenses aren't really as good. Like, you have 105 special attack, which isn't that great. You want to boost it, but you don't really have any boosting moves. You have even lower attack. And your special move pool isn't that good because you just don't have a lot of moves. So you have to use lower damage, or at least lower base stats, or you have to use like four moves. But then the Mega comes in. That's just, <laughs> yeah. You've got 1010, 110, not 1010, 1010 attack. Wouldn't that be nice? 110 attack, 145 special attack and speed. And you get, like, 10 points in special defense or something. And you aren't, like, a total glass cannon. You can take a hit. Like, one hit. If it's super effective, you, you're in trouble. But a normal hit isn't that bad. Like, you, you have okay, but you're not a glass cannon. So... Unburden is one of your abilities. And that's just crazy because you already have such insane speed. And that means that you don't speed like base. I think you don't speed at Mega Septile with Timid just from your base stats and Unburden. It's kind of crazy. And there are three main items, I think. You just want to use a one-use item that will make you, like, I don't know. I don't know how to say this. Hmm. It'll just, like, it's easy to activate. Weakness policy is amazing. Because grass has seven weaknesses. You can use that to your advantage. If you come in on a wall, say it's like, I don't know, Skarmory, and it's using like, Drill Pack, you know, it, that's super effective, but you're invested in bulk, and that's just like, weak. So, you activate weakness policy, now you're at plus two, you're at speeding a ton of stuff, you're modest, You've got Energy Ball, Focus Blast, Hidden Power, Rock, Ice, or Fire for coverage, and that's where the bad move pool comes in. Leaf Storm, if you know that you're just, you want to nuke something, if you are using Weakness Policy, you can use Leaf Storm twice, and then, because it, it will make your attack normal. If you have weakness policy activated, and then you will have lowered stats, but or dragon pulse. If it worked for Zerberia, whatever. Um, and the other option, white herb with dragon with leaf storm, that is good. Like leaf storm's pretty leaf storm's mandatory on white herb, and red card. Come in on something that you don't like, maybe. 
and like like if you resist something if they have a threat to you but it's using a move that you resist like a war move you come in say it's um heatran and it's using earth power you switch in septile you switch them out now you're at your speed so that's good and then you can try to focus blast it and then you can try to attack the thing that comes in maybe that will be a better matchup and then physical you want focus sash or septalite I think if you want to mega evolve just go for the stats yeah however if you have the sash then your ability gets interesting because if you're max invested in speed and stuff you're already out speeding a ton of stuff and overgrow will um, be very good with leaf blade because now your stab is getting stronger and with focus sash you can come in on something really strong and now you don't care. But I think that overgrow is still better. Like, you could use Unburden with Sash, but I don't think it's worth it. You don't need that crazy speed. Sword Sands and Leaf Blade are mandatory. You need your stab, you need your boost. But Rock Slide and Earthquake, those can be interchanged with. Um, some other moves, because I said, you have a lot of, like, good moves. There, um, more side ideas. Uh, let's, I'm going to go to the one on the right, this, before, like, I didn't have a move set, this is just more options. Acrobatics, uh, if you are using Umberdom, and you're physical, nice. But you don't want to use it with Mega. Unfortunately, Mega Stones are not consumed when you Mega Evolve. That would be pretty amazing. Because you'd just be like, faster than light. Which is probably why they didn't do that. Crunch is good if you, if you have a problem with Psychic types. Dragon Claw and Outrage, that's just for Mega. If you really, really are scared of other dragon types, and you're like, and you're running the normal form, if you're like, my team is super weak to dragon types, or I'm scared of them, so I'll use a dragon move. And Drain Punch and Thunder Punch, those are just like other options. If you're weak to Bisharp, if you're weak to Gyarados. And this is Basiliscus' set. Again, the ability does not matter when you Mega Evolve. You just want max special attack and speed. Your stats are so much. There's just so much of them. 145 is crazy. Basiliscus is modest with Protect. Uh, you can get go. You can run away using modest. If you're really, like, Basiliscus was originally bred with Trick, I mean, not Trick Room, <laughs> with Sticky Web from Noodles in mind, but he works just fine without it. He's fast. And Giga Drain in Substitute is sometimes better than Energy Ball and Protect. Energy Ball has a little bit more power than Giga Drain. But Substitute really lets you predict easier. If you're scared of, like, Heat Train or whatever, you know. Something that hits you super effective. Like, they have a nice type. Like a Starmie with Ice Beam. It's Scarfed, so it'll outspeed you. 
then use substitute as they come in. Now they hit your substitute, and then BAM! Super effective Giga Drain, or Energy Ball. I have Protect because honestly I couldn't get Substitute, but I think that it's actually better, better sometimes. If they are like, you know, if they have a uh, Mega Lopunny or something with like High Jump Kick, just Protect can be very useful. If you have a wall that uses Nichi or burns them or toxic them, then your wall goes down, they're like, oh, I can take this out. Protect, just give the little extra damage. You know, I'm just saying protect is very good for getting the speed boost first turn. Sometimes it's, sometimes it comes in very handy. I kind of ran able to go on there. Ice, in general, you hate. Mega Septile hates ice. Just. Yeah. You don't have a lot of weaknesses, but ice is a times four weakness. And ice shard in particular. Kill it with fire. Or any other super effective move. Just kill it. Now, priority, like Talonflame, is also a problem. If you get... And, and they kind of are the same thing, so this is for all Septathics. Like... Also, on Burden, if you have to switch out, and burden's bad. The priority that's super effective just destroys Mega Sceptile. If you're outsped, like you do you have crazy speed, but there's megas with crazy speed. Like Mega B drill. So if you get outsped and they have a super effective hit, you're in trouble. You just want to be faster all the time. And if you have a burden, you do not want to switch out. Because you can only consume your item once. So here's what your team options want to be. You want to weaken the team a bit. The opposing team. You know, you know they might have a wall or something. Um... I kind of don't like saying this, because I say it for all of my strat sat things, but use hazards. I didn't put this, because it's not like something that specifically helps you. But if you are determined to sweep with a Pokemon, set up three layers of spikes and stealth rock and sticky web. For scarfers and talon flame, and just, the damage is great. You need it. Kill all ice. Kill all super effective moves. But especially kill ice shard and ice or mega septile. And if you want to set up with the Pokemon, use Memento. Um, I was, this says Memento plus Weakness Policy, we, Memento and Swords Dance also works. Just use Memento, lower their stats, now they can switch out, or they can do not a lot of damage. You might think, oh, I've got a super effective hit, well, if you're bulky, or if they just don't have enough damage, bam. Activate that weakness policy. Or you set up Swords Dance. Now, 
that's scary. It just helps you set up. You'd rather be setting up on something with lower attacks than something with, like, three swords dances. And this isn't really a team option like other Pokemon you want, but you want to remove anything that would make you switch. I said that before, this is more like going in depth. Because <laughs> Unburden can only be, be used once. The same with Weakness Policy. So if your Weakness Policy Unburden, or your Sword Stance, you don't want to waste that opportunity. You can't... If, if you're Sash, and you get taken down to your Sash, you better hope that you're going to sweep. Or else now you've just got a Pokemon at 1 HP, and now that's just... <clears throat> that's bad. That's really bad. You can't really set up with a lot with that. So if they have priority, or something, that will take you down if you go to your Sash, then you're like... Then be like, no, I'm not going to send out Sceptile, because... He'll take me down to my sash, and then he'll send out Talon Flame, and all my hard work is nothing. I just wasted. I just wasted my stuff now. So, you want to make that move count. Now let's go over to the try it out section, where I will be doing my weird teacher voice and. Showing a Sceptile Sweep. It's not hard. Basiliscus. Mega Sceptile in general. Crazy stats! Welcome back, class, to the Try It Out section of Strat Sap. I'm not really sure why I do this teacher voice, but, you know, I think that we will just do this forever. So, this is a battle video showing Basiliscus in action. The opponent sends out a Mewtwo, and I is sent out Basiliscus. <coughs> I wasn't sure if I would outspeed. And that is where Protect comes in handy. Then, Basiliscus outspeeds, uses Dragon Pulse, does not manage to one hit KO. However, that's a two hit KO. And Mega Mewtwo Y does have some impressive special defense. Also, you saw Basiliscus's. Rather large, not large, but good bulk. Because, you know, despite being a sweeper, Mega Sceptile does have some okay defenses. He is not a glass cannon. Possibly a wooden cannon. And. With his great speed, he outspeeds Greninja and Rayquaza. And just if he uses a super effective hit, you are in a lot of trouble. Until next time, this is Craft Key Gaming signing out. Have a great Saturday.